everybody, welcome back to another episode of Crafting with Catherine. I know it's been a minute since the last episode. I'm sorry about that, but we back now. For today's video, we're gonna be adding an airport because for some reason, like a million of you guys requested that I build one. So um, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but airports are like really big. So instead of making like a giant, giant build, I decided that I'm gonna do a smaller regional size airport, but we're still gonna make it really cute. Before we start building anything though, as you guys know, we have to go to the art museum and add in some new artwork. All right, so let's transfer over our new painting. And now let's go ahead and add it upstairs right next to this window. So this week we have artwork from Aiko Chim, Maddie, Mini B, Willow, Mimi, Layla, Natalie Rainbow, Tyrell, Paige, Wolfie Chan, Sparkling Diamond, Rose Gold Zodiac, Skylar, Maddie, and Angel. Okay, well, now that we've added some new art to the art museum, let's go work on the airport. Alright guys, so here is my little mountain airport. I decided to put it around here just because I thought the scenery was cool. But yeah, so this is the airport. I feel like it's a pretty good size. Like it's not too big, but it's not too small either. Obviously in the back of the build, we're gonna add a runway and the planes and stuff. I just did not do that yet, but let's go ahead and take a look inside first. So there's a couple of different ways to get inside. Like I made a bunch of doors, but this is the main entrance. And when you walk in, obviously the first thing you see are these stairs. This is gonna be like, you know, you walk up and you go through TSA to make sure you don't have like bad things on you. And then you can go into the spot where, you know, you would catch a plane. But before you go up the stairs, you can go left. We're gonna have a gift shop, that'll be cute. And over here is gonna be like baggage claim, pick up, you know, pick up your bags and stuff. And then on this side, we're gonna have the counters where you buy your plane ticket and where you can rent a car. But yeah, so that's pretty much this section. And if you go up the stairs, like I said before, this is where you go through security to get into this area. Now, this is so pretty. I love all these windows, but this is gonna be like a little restaurant and bar area. Then on either side of this little opening, we have a bathroom that's gonna go there and another one over there. And next to each bathroom, we have like these little rooms. Basically, these are gonna be like little chargey spots. So we're gonna have some chairs and like a little table set up in there. So this can be where people can go to charge their phones and devices if they're dying. Then in this open space here and down there, we're just gonna have like a bunch of chairs for people that are waiting for flights. And these openings right here, these are the gates because we are a small airline. We only have four gates, but it's fine. I think we should start by decorating the downstairs area first though. And actually wait, we need some doors first. Okay, so we're gonna get some modern doors and modern windows to go above the doors. So this is a four wide entrance. So we'll just do like this and then we can have these windows above. <gasps> How cute is this? And then, well this, ooh. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, wait, wait, why do they all move? Wait, this is wrong. Instead, let's just have two more windows on the sides like this and then we can have the doors in the middle. And then will this work properly? <gasps> yes! Look at all of my beautiful entrances! I am obsessed. I love this a lot, okay. All right, so let's start with the right side of this building. And as you guys already know, this is gonna be where you can buy tickets and rent cars. So let's grab some counters and we're just gonna place them all around this area, starting from over here. And we're gonna bring it all the way down. Okay, so I separated the counters into three sections and I also kind of just separated the car place from the plane place just by turning the counters in a little bit. Now I found this block that kind of looks like a conveyor belt, sort of. Um, and I thought that that'd be really cool for the baggage area and for the area behind the counter because, correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like there is a conveyor belt uh, that goes into like a little luggage room type situation. So when you go to buy your tickets for the plane, 
you can just like give them your suitcase and it just goes. <laughs> At least I think that's how it works. I have not been to an airport in a long time, so I do not remember. Now on the counters, we obviously need some registers and I think we need a lot of them. So let's do two per counter. Let's add some phones. And you know what else we need? We need like the scale that weighs your luggage. So let's put a slab down here. And what does this look like? <gasps> oh, that actually looks really good. It's kind of the same color too. <gasps> that's perfect. Now I'm just putting a bunch of signs on the wall so that we can pretend to display flight times. Now over here by the car rental area, we should also add some signs. And then we obviously need some registers and office phones. <gasps> Guys, I found a pile of luggage. That's pretty cool. It's kind of like an old fashioned style of luggage, which you know, I feel like doesn't really match what we're doing here. But what if we took this and put it like here? <gasps> okay, wait, that's cool. That's cool because it actually looks like it's going into the little storage area. Now there's a lot of waiting areas in airports because usually it takes a while to kind of process everything and actually get to your flight. So for the chairs, I found these which are pretty much perfect and I feel like they look just like the chairs that you would find in an airport. So let's go ahead and add some chairs that go back to back. And there we go, guys, this looks just like airport seating. It's so funny. I think this area is pretty much done. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and add a bathroom over here and another one over on this side of the room. Um, but I'm gonna do that off camera because I feel like building bathrooms is boring and I don't wanna bore you. All right guys, so the bathrooms are done now. The boys are on that side and the girls are on this side. And if we go in, you'll see that we just have some sinks, some garbage cans, and we have two stalls. Over on this side, we can start doing the baggage claim area. And I had a really fun idea. So I wanna use these blocks that I used for like the pretend conveyor belt before. And I wanna do like a little U shape like this. So now we have two of these, but I actually wanna make them like loop around. So let's go ahead and just break this wall open a little bit. And now let's just bring this around the back side of the wall. And you'll see that it kind of still looks the same, but now this little track is kind of connected. Now I just wanna go ahead and break some of these blocks so I can place some redstone torches. And now we can just add some minecarts with chests so it looks like the luggage is coming out. This is so cute! Okay, so I just went ahead and changed this one up a little bit. I added another layer of these blocks around the track and I also added a purple wall in the middle just to kind of separate the spaces a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing over to this side. There we go. And now all I wanna do is add some signs. So this can be baggage claim number one and this can be baggage claim number two. Then I think we should go ahead and add some of these chairs under the windows. Ooh. I don't like that it does that. Maybe instead of putting them by the window, we do another back-to-back -back thing. Haha, -ha, we have solved the weird window issue just by uh, moving the chairs over. <laughs> okay, well now let's go over here so we can start working on the gift shop. The first thing I wanna do is add like a wall of shelves behind this counter. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add like literally a ton of shelves. <laughs> Before I add anything to the shelves, I wanna go ahead and add some clothes so we can add two on this side. And then we can put two on this side. Maybe we can put a sunglasses display over here. And in the middle of the space, I wanna add a small table so that we can display some books and cameras. I just went ahead and added some random things to the shelves on this back wall. And now I wanna add some backpacks to these open areas so we can add pink, blue, and green on this side. And I guess we'll do the same thing over here. Then maybe over here, we can add some ATM machines. And I think the last thing we should add are some fairy lights. <gasps> that just made everything like a thousand times cuter. Guys, I love this. Look at it. Okay, so now that the gift shop is done, let's go ahead and work on the security area. And I kind of want to add some more fairy lights up here too, just because it is a little bit dark. Okay, now I just want to go ahead and separate this area into two so that we can have two security lines. And now we can go ahead and add some x-ray machines. And we can add some metal detectors. Guys, this looks so cool. So now let's just go ahead and add some bags so it looks like people are actually putting their stuff through the x-ray machines. Okay, so check it out. I can just go up the stairs, I can drop my bag off in the x-ray machine, and then I can walk through the metal detector, and now I'm in the airport. I don't know why I think this is so cool. It just is, okay, I'm obsessed. I wish I had some little bins to put on here, but I don't think I do. What if we just use these glass item frames as bins? I mean, I know they're not bins, but we can pretend. I feel like it's kind of close. I think this area looks awesome. Okay, um, but now let's go work on the restaurant. 
So let's go ahead and add a bar area over here. Then we can add some bar stools around it and we can add some beer taps. Now let's go ahead and add some tables and now we can add some chairs. Now I'm just gonna go around the top of this area and add a bunch of these glass item frames just to kind of decorate it a little bit. I don't know why, but I feel like that looks cool. And now in the corners behind the bar, we can add some counters and registers. Now over on the ends over here by the bathrooms, we have these charging station rooms. So let's add some counters around this space with some bar stools. And then I'm gonna use these glass item frames and I'm gonna put some buttons inside them and rotate them so that they kind of look like power outlets. Then we can go ahead and just put some TVs in here. And because I don't have any phones or chargers in Minecraft, I'm gonna use this glass item frame and I'm just gonna put some string in it so it kind of looks like a phone wire. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing over to this one. There we go, now we have an identical room over on this side of the airport. And I think on these blank walls outside of the bathrooms, I wanna go ahead and put some vending machines and soda machines. So we'll put some over here and we'll put some over here. On both ends of the airport, we can go ahead and add a desk by the gates and then we can put a computer and a phone on it so that people can ask for help if they need any. Maybe we can just put some signs on the wall behind the desk so we can pretend that these are displaying flight times. And now we can just go ahead and add a bunch of chairs. And there we go, now we have a bunch of chairs so people can sit and wait for their flights. But now that everything is pretty much done, I'm just gonna go ahead and add some plants everywhere and some TVs, and then I think that's gonna be it for the interior. So let's add some plants to these corners, and then we can go ahead and put some TVs on the wall just so people don't get bored and stuff. <gasps> wait a minute, what if we use the TVs instead of the signs to display flight times? <gasps> yes, that looks way better. Look at that. Oh, that looks so good. All right guys, well I think the inside of my airport is pretty much done, so now I'm gonna go outside and work on the strip and the airplanes. Alright guys, so I finished everything that I wanted to do outside, but before I show you what I did, let's go on a tour of the inside. So this is my airport, and when you first walk in, you can go ahead and buy some flight tickets on the right, or you can come over here and you can rent a car. We have some seating over here for people that are waiting, and then we have some bathrooms of course. Then if we keep going this way, we have a cute little gift shop, and we have the baggage claim area. And then if we go upstairs, this is where you can go through security to make sure you're not bringing anything dangerous on the plane. And then this is the main upstairs area. So we have lots of chairs for people that are waiting. Over here we have a cute little restaurant and a bar. You can actually see a little sneak peek of what I built outside through these windows. But before we look at that, let's go over here. We obviously have some more bathrooms and then we have our cute little charging rooms. And that's pretty much the inside of my airport. Now you'll notice that two of these ends are kind of blocked off now. There's a small entrance over there, but that's kind of like a service exit for employees, I'm gonna call it for now. Um, because right now there are only two gates open because there are two planes waiting to take off. So if we go this way and go into gate two, we can actually walk down here and we can board the plane. Gate number three is also open, and again, you can walk down here and you can board the plane. So this is what they look like inside. I kept it pretty simple. I didn't want to do anything too crazy. Now, if we go out this way and we just go down the stairs, you'll see that outside I built a bunch of these really cute like little luggage carts. So we have one over here, one over there, and there's two more over that way. Besides the carts outside over here, I built a pretty big runway and we have one larger plane. And I just wanna take a second to show you guys my plane because I'm very proud of myself. I did not follow a tutorial or anything. I kind of just tried my best. I think it's, I, I think it's the proportions are a little bit off, but I, I love it. I still think it looks really cute. So we have that one larger plane and then over here we have two smaller baby planes. Look how cute these are. Oh, they're so tiny and adorable. 
I also tried to keep with the theme of my airport, so I made sure all of my planes had pink and purple accents. But yeah, so this is pretty much what my airport looks like. I hope you guys like it. But I think that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys do like this build, then make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye!